This guy comes up to me and says he don't like you hanging around here. So he gives me a bunch of money and says he'll pay me more if I keep you out of here until he goes away. Boy, word travels fast. Sal must have heard I was working for Franny. I heard Sal visits here a lot, and I'd like to get inside and look around, but Arda won't let me in. Maybe he'd let someone else in, though. Now I've got an Inspector Burns disguise that would fool his own mother. It certainly ought to do the trick on a goofball like Ardo. It's my hero, Inspector Burns! And you must be Fire Ranger Ardo, my biggest fan in the entire world! Yes, sir, Inspector Burns! You must have got the letter I sent you! Why, yes, Ardo. I was deeply touched when I read your letter. But now I can't seem to remember a single word of it. That's okay. I know you're pretty busy. I wanted you to inspect this hotel for fire safety. I followed all your fire safety tips. Well, okay. I can see this means a lot to you. You're a good kid, so I'll just take a look around. All right. I'll open the doors, Inspector Burns. After a few minutes, I find the door to the Regency Escort Service Hotel Suite. The door's locked, but there's a security panel on the wall beside it. Looks like it requires a password. So this is the Regency Escort Service Love Suite. Now that I'm in, I'll need to find something to prove that Sal's been a frequent customer. Those chairs look pretty comfy. Nice. Boring, but nice. I'm starting to think this painting's following me around. Plastic plants, as always, add that special touch to a room. Nice chandelier. The escort service spared no expense. This painting is very... yellow. A list of names. All female. Looks like Sal's a regular here at the love suite. A rose bush by a fence. Pretty exciting stuff. The air vents keep the room right at room temperature. I'd call this one, Two Girls Bothered by Ants on a Picnic. This must be titled, Mishap on the High Seas. A twisty board game. I used to play this as a kid. I wonder what the escort girls do with it. Looks like a piece of bright, shiny foil. Must be from a bottle of champagne. Ah, French doors with American knobs. Lavish, yet practical. Man now wishing he hadn't gotten drunk and challenged the other guy to a duel for insulting Rosie, the toothless wench with the heart of gold. Nice cathedral. 
Girls looking for contact lens. A book about the history of the Golden Gate Hotel. Looks fascinating. This appears to be a very poor copy of Monet's Drowning Frogs. Ah, French doors. Frilly panties. I hope they aren't sows. The nightstands balance the bed nicely. I love symmetry. Lamp adds a nice touch. Looks like a nice vacation spot. The air vents keep the room right at room temperature. The bed looks deluxe. Firm, but not too firm. I'll bet this love seat's lived up to its name. Which one's cheating? Look closely. This is a piece by that famous dead artist Van Popper entitled, uh, Corpse in a Field. I don't think I ought to open that credenza. It might be full of Sal's underwear. You know, suddenly, I'm hungry for a fruit cup. My Uncle Stan used to wear a tie with that same pattern on it. I love finding unlocked drawers. Looks like the upper left drawer is locked. I'll bet I could open it if I had something to pick the lock. I love finding unlocked. A Gideon's Bible. It figures. Everything points to Sal being an aspiring televangelist. I love finding un. I love. Hmm. Camera. Too bad there's no film in it. There's no dust on it, though. Must have been used recently. I love. I love twelve, 12 cents. Some people would take this change, but not me. Cash, maybe, but not change. I certainly hope Sal doesn't come out of the closet. Hopefully this isn't Sal's negligee. The color's all wrong for him. Champagne glasses end up in the weirdest places. The nightstands balance the bed nicely. I love The nightstand's balance. Oh, it's last month's Playbub magazine. Looks like it's stuck inside the drawer. 